Today I'm going to teach you how to make a shelf for your computer speakers. Here I have a Companion 2 Bose speaker for your computers. And this is a wall mount or a shelf that you can use to put on your wall in your office. That way you can eliminate the space that your speakers would normally take up from your desk. Materials you'll need is an 8 inch piece of half inch, or pardon me, an 8 inch piece of inch pine. Then you need a um, seven and a quarter inch piece of um, one inch pine as well to act as your brace. That's this guy right here. And then right here we have a five and a half inch piece of half, or pardon me, one inch pine as well. So let's go ahead and cut them. is cut, it's time to assemble. Before assembling, you always want to make sure you clean up the edges and make sure everything is all nice and sanded before you put it together. That way when you stain it or polyurethane it, it gives a better cling to the material, to the uh, chemical. And it also looks nicer and it's smoother to the, to the hand. Since I don't have professional equipment, I'm just going to do it by hand. I do have my belt sander that I'll use to clean up some of the edges if I need to, some of the angles that is. In lieu of using a router, I'm going to use my belt sander to curve the edges. That's something you can do if you don't have the right equipment. Now that the edges are all cleaned up and rounded off, it's time to put the thing together. I'm going to start off by, by drilling some 1 16th inch pilot holes. Always a good thing to do whenever you're drilling into soft wood like this. Just using one and a half inch finished nails. These are coated so they won't rust. Just going to tap those into the holes here before I glue it. Now to glue it, you can use any type of glue you want. I'm choosing to use Elmer's glue because it's cheap and everybody has it. Just put a conservative amount on there. You don't have to put a whole lot. Before you put the second nail in, go ahead and do the other side. I like to use a punch to kind of countersink the nails. nails put in. It's time to put some stain on it. But before you put stain on it, make sure that you brush all the dust off or else it won't cover well. In this case, I'm deciding to use an Olympic Early American, which is what matches our house. Uh, and when you, like, when you stain, always make sure you wear gloves, rubber or latex or whatever you like, because uh, if you don't, then your hands will end up the color of the stain. And I can tell you that from experience. Now this I've already stirred up, so I'll save you that boring. I just usually use an old t-shirt, dip it in there, get a little bit saturated, and just rub it with the grain. Once you get all the stain applied, let it sit for a little while until the stain dries. You can put either put another coat of stain on or you can put polyurethane on it. In this case, I'm going to put polyurethane on it. This isn't quite dry, so I'm going to let it sit. Um, I don't think I'm going to show the polyurethaning because it's pretty straightforward. It's the same process except you just use a brush and it's just like painting. But that you also let sit too. All right, so thank you for watching, guys. Appreciate it. If you liked it, rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me if there's anything you'd like to see me do. I like doing this kind of stuff or, you know, anything pretty much. Alright guys, thanks for watching.